I just hope that everything comes to light and people see what really happened. Jennifer Phelps arrived at court wearing a shirt with a picture of her late son, Michael Buskey, or as she called him, Mikey. He loved helping his friends. He was always there for people if they needed him. Earlier this month, Buskey was found dead in the woods near his Plymouth, New Hampshire apartment from a gunshot wound. His death was ruled a suicide. Phelps said her son had some troubles in the past but seemed to be getting better. News of his death didn't make sense to her. I think there's a lot more behind it. My personal opinion, mm -hmm. um, you know, I can't say for anybody else, but my personal opinion, I think there's a lot more behind it than meets the eye. Police agree. Now one of her son's roommates is facing charges connected to his death. According to court documents, 19-year-old Parker Hogan helped plan Buskey's suicide. A police report says the two went into the woods where they practiced ways for Buskey to shoot himself. Documents show Hogan then left the woods, waited until he heard a gunshot, returned to make sure Buskey was dead. He waited until the next morning to call police and Buskey's father. Prosecutors say Hogan is now facing serious charges. It's a, a, a class B felony, so that's a three and a half to seven is maximum. Buskey's mother is hoping the case will provide her the answers she's seeking.